Oh man. Playing number four before five comes out. What? Alright. I'm gonna do my best because I've never actually done a full playthrough of this game. Uh, I've done... Gosh, I... <laughs> make sure subtitles are on. Uh, I've played... Oh gosh. The first two chapters of it, I've played... Um, oh, I've played bits and pieces, like... There, there's spots that I have no idea. Like I, I've, I've seen the whole game. Why, why did that save? Thank you. Uh, I have, I've seen the whole game. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like toggle. Uh, I don't know. I feel how that looks. Um, the, uh, frick. Uh, there, there's just parts of the game that I don't. Oh wait, controls. Cause I know, I know they're different in this one. Uh... Nope. Okay. All right. All right, uh, <laughs> barring that. Oh, wait, no, there was at the bottom. Oh. That isn't really what I wanted. Okay. Um, new game. Uh, I don't want to be a wuss and play it on easy. Uh, normal's great. I mean, I, I've played one, two, and three on uh well no one and two on european extreme and <laughs> that's tough getting spotted and losing the game um i i don't know if i should play it on normal or hard uh again since i haven't played much of this game i don't know what i'm looking at for the most part i think i'm just gonna do normal be uh be slightly fair to myself and there's a buttload of cutscenes right in the beginning. Oh, oh it's the TV thing now, first. You have answered nine out of ten questions right, Melissa. You have one question left. Now, if you get it wrong, then we have to say goodbye and maybe good luck. But don't hold your breath. Um. Japan. How did you stay afloat? Uh, this is this is weird. Um, uh, well, my dear, let's see, where's my favorite one? Hideo 1! Hideo 2! Uh, nope, not this one. There we go! The octopus! My favorite. Actually, can I skip this? Or... Nope, looks like I can't. Oof. Real fast. Really, really. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I lost the octopus. Uh, you just scroll through this until the game kind of starts. Like, it gives you, like, weird plot points or little tidbits of what's to come, like, uh, the octopus had a camouflage section. Harder, eh, Melissa? Oh, I shouldn't have tried harder. Hey, Melissa. A message of hope to today's young people from David Hayter. Mm. I never actually said that. Oh. Thanks, David Hayter. You are, you are the man we all need. Uh... Oh, PMCs.
Mantis unmanned surveillance systems. I've never seen that one. That was uh, that was cool, actually. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna do the best I possibly can, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up a lot, as it is obvious that I do. Although, I really love this opening. This oh, this is a this is a good opening. It's just something about the music and the way it's framed and the voice is... Oh, it's so good. I, I know people complain, like, there was that lawsuit with that, uh, the Russian composer or something that just... The, uh, one of his compositions was basically the main theme and it was accidentally, uh... Accident it was completely apparently accidentally uh, used uh, just happened to be a similar uh, com composition and Kojima was like nah I don't want to use that one we're gonna make a new one and decided to use this for the game which I think is a, a better theme even though the old dun 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 uh, is a classic Doesn't look too bad for uh, War has changed. early PS3 game. I'm gonna shut up so Snake can talk. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, the memes control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. Has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Fun fact, uh, David Hayter couldn't get his snake voice correct for most of the voicing. Um, and I mean, it, uh, they wanted it gruffer, but he couldn't get his voice correct. Um, if you compare the voices of Snake between 1, 2, 3, and 4 in Japanese, it's the same actor. He uses the same inflection, same tone. He, he just does it uh, the exact same through every uh, bit. Oh gosh. Um, but here, uh, he, <laughs> he had to use, uh, shots of whiskey in order to, um, get rid of the, uh, phlegm and mucus in his throat and relax a little bit. It's, it's one of the properties that whiskey has. It lets you speak deeper. Um, and he had to do shots of whiskey while he was recording in order to get to... 
uh, that, that, that he had to do. Uh, I find it really funny that he couldn't do Solid Snake anymore after doing it for that many years, but I think it might have been doing the Solid Snake for that many years that ruined his ability to make that voice in the first place. <laughs> uh, regardless, <laughs> I think this is a welcome little bit, um, because obviously Snake is old, and uh, I mean, besides the fact you can't do much about the voice, uh, it, it works well. To make a weapon available for use, ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Thanks, Otacon. Uh, okay, so, again, I'm not very good at this. Fun fact number two, the geckos use cow noises uh, to uh, naturally make their prey think that they are not as violent because for whatever reason the sounds of a cow um, not relax the, the human mind, but uh, because we're so used to cows being submissive creatures that we farm, uh, we think of them just as not, uh, ooh, creatures of, uh, non-violence and, again, of, of no threat. So, that's, uh, it's good planning there. Oh, yeah, the controls here are, uh, slightly different. Some of the other games. A little more complicated. I know 4 is a very weird place to start, and I know it's very. Uh, oh, shoot, I just missed that. <laughs> Uh, it's a very strange place to start because the lore is so in-depth. Um, it's just the one that's most like uh, Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain, so I want to get a feel uh, for the more open-worldness of it all. I mean, granted, the game's still linear, but it, uh... There, there's less guy walks one way looks, guy walks the other way looks with their soliton radar cones that you have to avoid in order to not get seen. Fun fact about the geckos, um, they use the hard body shell 
idea from Metal Gear Rex, which was the Metal Gear in the first game, and the adaptive legs of the Ray from the second game uh, in conjunction with each other to make the Irving, which is the bipedal, or uh, it's still a bipedal tank, uh, but the more uh, the more mobile um, defense kind of robot drone. Because they're all a mint, so... Well. Oh, that's game over, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, watermelons. I don't have an explanation for that. Like, at all. I do for that though, that's the Octocamo, probably the best thing that's come out of the Metal Gear series. Uh, too bad it's only in this game. Um, I guess stealth is a little dumbed down in uh, f uh, Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. Less about awareness and more about just kind of hiding. But I mean, I guess back then they didn't have the technology that these guys had in order to find you where you were if you didn't have any kind of special camouflage. I hope Kojima does well on his own. That well-modeled ass. You go, Snake. Get it. Yes, save the game! That's the opening of Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, not very much gameplay, obviously. You run down a hallway, and then run down another hallway, jump through a thing, and then you're done. But uh, it sets you up for a lot of plot that doesn't necessarily uh, make sense unless you know the rest of the universe.